Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of Dragon Age Origins with Human Warrior. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. We're going to get down to it here. No, one thing I've been doing, I've been going to the grocery store. They ha around here they have a um, water refill station at the grocery store around here, and it's thirty nine cents a gallon, and you gotta buy the gallon jugs from them, which is like a dollar nineteen for new ones. But when you refill them, they're thirty nine cents a, um, they're thirty nine cents a um gallon. And it's really refreshing. It's um. It's got the reverse osmosis in it. The reverse osmosis deal, which um, takes out the chlorine, the sulfur, and the um, fluoride. So... But we're going to run back here to the... Um, we're going to run back here to the, um, merchant. Then we're going to swap characters just so I can... <laughs> Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Turn you up. There we go. Alright. Just don't buy everything up. Okay. I want to see... Nope. What about armor? Nothing? Alright. What about you, Mr. Alistair? You need anything? Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Alright. Just don't buy everything up. Ow. Okay, um... Okay, so Mr. Alistair could use the Dwarven Longsword. And for armor. Nothing. Okay. Let me make sure we can't use it, that Oath Keeper. And Okay. 
Alistair's gonna get that family sword. Which, no, he's not. He's getting the Dwarven Longsword. Okay. Okay. I think we're okay now. All right. Sure, Alistair. There you go. All right. That heavy chain mail, I don't think we can use that yet, can we? Nope, it requires 22 strength. Okay. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Okay, now we'll just sell what we got and we'll get out of here. All right. So you, and you, and you, and you, 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 tail gloves. you we can get out of here now okay now that we got better armor and all that now we can get out of here so I'm I have learned what I did wrong I was doing the DLC way too early it, you don't want to do the DLC yet you want to get some levels up first and then you want to do the DLC Going back to Ostagar, you get Kaylin's armor 
you can't use it unless you have like 38 strength or something like that and So, yeah, I'm going to just do some leveling. Um, I got a level set up that I, I'm going to follow, so... dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me too. That's what I'm here for, to deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Okay. So there's a quest here. I'm not going to do it because that opens the soldier's keep. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fennec, at your service once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. <laughs> if you need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was he now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor, though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Oh, certainly. I can do that for you. Just come with me. Okay. Can't afford either one of these and can't use them either, so... Take you. Take these lesser injury kits. Can't have too many of those. Okay. That's it.
What do you need? Ask away. Such as they are. That's a good question. There's plenty in Orlay, but who knows where they might be found. And the nearest Orlesian city is weeks away. If we go north and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the free marches. Again, however, I just don't know where. I don't know anything about Grey Wardens in other lands. Here in Ferelden, there's our compound in Denerim at the palace, but that's it. Loghain will have control over that and be watching it, no doubt. Beyond that, the only place I know of is Weishaupt Fortress. That's the headquarters of all Grey Wardens in the Anderfels, a thousand miles from here. But I've no idea how to even contact them. So unless we try to get back to the compound in Denerim, I suppose the answer is no. There's nowhere for us to go. I imagine that eventually the Grey Wardens outside of Ferelden will wonder what's happened. Why there's no contact from Duncan or someone. They'll send someone eventually. Though who knows what Logan's people in Denerim will tell them. Maybe they won't send anyone. We could try to contact them. But that would mean leaving Ferelden. And even if we did, they couldn't come back with us in time to stop the blight. So that means whatever happens, it's up to us. I mean, eventually we would have to use the joining to make more Grey Wardens, right? But I don't know how to do the joining, or what's involved. I know it involves Lyrium and some other magic, and that it's really difficult to prepare, but that's it. Unless we can find out more about the joining, I guess we better get used to the idea that there might only be two of us for now. Until more come from elsewhere. Just left? You mean, just left for Elden? I don't know. If there's an Archdemon, however, we're supposed to be the only ones who can defeat it. And that means the Blight would grow unchecked. Eventually, other Grey Wardens in Orlais and other lands would hear about it, and they would come to fight it, but they wouldn't come in time to save Ferelden. There's no way. I'm not going anywhere. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? Okay. You little. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He spat at me. Look. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Yeah. It will, actually. Okay, talk to Morgan. What do you wish of me? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Then I assume our discussion ends here. What do you wish of me? If you must. <laughs> you are very cute to ask so many questions. Really? Perhaps we should be wrapped in ribbons and adorned with flowers. So cute are we, too. <laughs> My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. They came with as much swagger and arrogance as they did self-righteousness. Pity them if you wish, for they held none for us. Flemeth would warn them, once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. 
And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. It was a game and I a young girl. If I didn't get to play, I would have been very upset. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. <coughs> you do not know? The zealots use that word for any magic they do not control. The Chantry sees any mages not leashed to the Circle of Magi as apostates. And apostates could become Maleficarum, evil mages that resort to blood magic and become demon-enslaved abominations. It may even be true, still, those of us who prefer freedom see no reason to submit. Oh, I hope you're not simply being agreeable. It would be a refreshing change. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Okay. Now we will go ahead and head on to the next area. Okay. We're going to Redcliffe. That's where we're going. Redcliffe Village. And I figured we were going to get a battle. Here we go. There we go. Now, um... I'm gonna put you there for now. Cause that's how the new setup was saying that you should use the dual stance for dual striking okay Okay, here we go. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Arl Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because... well... because my father was King Marek, which made Caelan my... 
half-brother, I suppose. So, you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess it does it, that. I should use that line more often. <laughs> I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care. But she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age ten. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but... I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh no, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. <laughs> well, you opened it up, man. You opened it up. You're the one that decided to talk about that, man. Very well. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. With no army to defend us, no Arl and no king to send us help, so many are dead, and those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother, he's here. Yes, it's not far, if you'll come with me. Excuse me. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. 
They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. I refer to Caelan, of course. Our sister was Queen Rowan, King Merrick's wife and Caelan's mother, make her rest her soul. So, you are a Grey Warden as well? Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. Ah, yes, that's it, exactly. A pleasure to meet you indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days, no guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Okay. I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be alright. I'm so sorry. Am I bothering you? What are we going to do? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Silence, girl. You want the children to hear you? Okay. So I'm pretty much flying blind here. Um... No, we don't have the memory. Still no sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. So you say, a damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden, I wouldn't know the difference. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Okay. I guess this might be the last night after all. 
The king isn't coming. Nobody is. So what can we do? Leave? Try to get out of the village? And abandon everyone? No. We fight. We've no other choice. Some death root here. Guy. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been to enough. Mm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. Okay, so I can persuade because of coercion. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Felena. It's one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me, or the village, or anyone! I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? Is that so? Hm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. Tell you what. If you want me to do repairs for Murdoch and his men, promise me you'll go into the castle and find my daughter. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Okay. Buy the boots even though I can't use them yet.
You won. You won. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta get some more water. Sorry about that. Okay. I shall do it. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantig and the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. That's Zaid Masani! I hope you're right. We may just be village folk, but we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. I have a good feeling about tonight. Okay, and I got persuasive. Nice. The mill. Well, let me check the other houses though too, just in case. Let me, let me check just in case. That was the tavern, that was... Caitlin's house is down to the south. Be right here. This isn't your home. This is my home. My home, you hear me? How... How do you know my name? Did... Did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it! Maybe... But she just tells me not to be scared, even though she is. She tells me not to be sad, but she keeps crying because mother died. I... I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. No. No. I just heard you coming and I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? I'll... I'll come out now. All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want.
I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. You could. Alright, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took Mother. In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key. But I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. But... I can't give it to you. It was father's. Caitlin would be so mad if I did. You could? Maybe you could give my sister money? She said if we had money, we'd be alright. Even if mother is dead. Oh, alright. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should go back to the Chantry. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I came in here. You get a sword. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The green blade. And it is better. Yoink. We'll take it. Boink. Then Alistair. We'll get the Oath Keeper. Okay. I shall do it. Okay. Well, we do need to go back to the Chantry. As you say. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. Bevan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it then? I suppose it won't go to waste at least. no idea what it's worth, to be honest. And you found Bevan. I couldn't ask you for money. But, <laughs> thank you, my lord. Use it well. Thank you again for Bevan. With my mother gone, well, I'm just glad he's safe. I, I can't thank you enough. You... Very sweet. I... I suppose there's no harm in it. <laughs> I... Oh my... Stay... Stay safe tonight. And good luck. Okay. It is begun. Okay. So now we're ready to go up north. Death route over here. It shall be done. Okay. Oh, 
Well, check this house over here. You never know. There might be something hidden in it. Yes? What can I do for you? Very well. Nice. Somebody leveled up. Oh, Alistair leveled up. It is begun. Okay. I shall. Nothing here, okay? Do you really know what's going on here? The blight, the civil war? I really wonder how much of it you understand. And here we go. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Bantigan is to see you here. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? Very well then, my lord. I am humbly at your service. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The Urn of Sacred Ashes is a legendary artifact set to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these things. The thought chills my blood. Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. As you wish. We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. That gladdens my heart to hear it. No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. As you wish, my lord. Make a watch over you. Guy. No word from the castle. Got a box over here. Say no more. The R lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. Hmm. 
Okay. So now we need to go back to Chantry. Let us pray. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a man of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Okay. Now we gotta go all the way back up, talk to Sir Perth. Which is crazy. When you sit down and think about it. Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... We're gonna wait for nightfall. May the Maker watch over us all. Because we're ready, I think. I think we're ready. I'm... Okay, here we go. 
We're gonna go fight. We go. We're just gonna kill a bunch and then we can. Nice, we leveled up. Fucking Morgan wanted to be stupid, so hell with her. Okay. The monsters are attacking from the lake. They're attacking the barricades. We need help. Come on, we need to hurry. Let's get leveled up first. We need all strength right now. Okay, so we need to try and find a class trainer. Okay. Morgan leveled up. Yeah. 
this is kind of cool. We're just killing corpses and shit like that. That's awesome. Yeah, leave her alone, damn it. There we go, chat. My god, how many of these things are there? Not that I'm complaining, I could use all the experience, man. Jesus, that's crazy. Wow. Take all we can get here. Dawn arrives and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their Maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Okay. But first we want to find the... Smithery. That's what we're looking for, the smithery. Sell some stuff and we can also level you up. I don't know. There we go. Get the healing spell. There. Two. All right. to see you in one piece. Do you have news of Elena yet? Well, I'll give it some time. Now's the best time to go into the castle, though, and see for yourself. Remember, a promise is a promise. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Okay, we're gonna start selling some shit.
Okay. Speaking of that, Morgan does need one. I thought she did. An injury kit. There we go. Right. You don't. Okay. Let me go to the general store, too. Um... If I can find it. Um, General store. Here it is. Okay. Like, where's the general store? Here it is. All right. Nobody's in here. That sucks. There, hello. Nope. Nothing in the general store. I was hoping I could buy, like, injury kits or something, but. Oh, well. I bet you he might have him. I shall do it. Good to see you in one piece. Do you have news of Elena yet? Well, I'll give it some time. Now's the best time to go into the castle, though, and see for yourself. Remember, a promise is a promise. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Nope, he doesn't have him. All right. He doesn't have him. Okay, nothing on the Chancellor's board, is there? Oh, there is. Okay. So let me take a look at the Okay, so that's only if we leave, which I bet you we can't right now, can we? I don't think so. Okay. So. Let's 
We're ready to talk to the man, it looks like. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tika. Alone. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. He is. He is being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows him and Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but... I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. Oh, thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. Bless you. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Then it's for the best. I would prefer to go inside with you, but I have no choice in the matter. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. Good luck. Mm. 
Okay. So here we go. Is there anyone alive out there? Yeah. Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? There's a tunnel? Then why hasn't anyone in the castle used it? We could all have escaped by now. Hmm, curious. None of this makes any sense. Not that anyone cares much what I think. My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon here. No, I... I poisoned Al Eamon, but that's all I did. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica, a blood mage. You, a blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow. I have to! Yes. When the Templars caught me, they brought me to Denerim to await execution. Eventually, someone came to see me, alone. It was the Terran. I'd seen paintings of him, so I knew. I thought he'd have me executed right there. But he said I could make up for my crime. He said I would be helping the country. He only said that Harl Eamon was dangerous to the nation. Why wouldn't I believe Terran Loghain? Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Give me a chance, please. I... well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the Circle. I need to account for what I've done. I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. I'm glad you think so. 
So what now? You're letting me out? And what then? Are you truly suggesting just letting him go? A dangerous blood mage? I... I guess not. Then... then I'll go. If you can help anyone here. Tell them I never meant for it to end like this. Okay. Take a look, see what we got here. Lifestone. There we go. Getting the potions again. We're Very well. getting us some experience too. Yeah, this is what we need to do. Instead of doing the DLC early, we need to go through the um, lesser missions first. That way, then we can get um, we can get experience, build up the character. Okay. Oh ho. them both I didn't know that well shit I didn't know that Get rid of this stuff and we can set our stuff up. That's what we're going to do. Okay. You off so we can get more. There we go. That's what was wrong. Okay. I knew I was doing something wrong. So far, so good. Everything's going good so far. Locked door. Okay. What's this over here? Okay, that just takes us back in there. Okay. Oh, we got another corpse. 
Okay. in battle, son of a bitch. I am not He needs one of you. Okay. We need you. Oh, there's the corpse skull we were looking for. Nice. I shall do it. He took a piss. Okay, let's see what's in here. Run. We need to run, man. All the stupid dogs can open doors. Turn that shit off.
There. Very well. There. Jet. Okay. You're gonna get one. There. Begun. There. Okay. Alessa's maid. Is she all right? What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters! I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Okay. There. Oh, shit. Thank you, Jesus, we leveled up. Yeah, okay, no. 
Man. There. That should do it. That should do it. As you say. I shall do it. Maybe. Here they come! Yep, we're just gonna let her kill us. Because we just don't stand a chance. We weren't supposed to go where we went, so. Yeah, we weren't supposed to go here, apparently. Okay. Oh, but we have to go that way. Okay? Yep, we have to go that way. Okay? There's a boss down there, but there's nothing I can do. I mean...
berries down. Okay, we got him. Sweet. All he had was a health bonus. Fucker. No new armor, no nothing, just fucking... <laughs> That's alright. We're just checking around. Doesn't look like there's anything up here. Okay. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is just a man, Connor. Like your father. Oh, I am tired of hearing about him. Besides, he's nothing at all like father. Look at him, breathing and not dying in the slightest. I could change that, my new. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thanks, the maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal! Father is alive, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. More enemies. Thank you. Go 
There we go. Perfect. Tegan. Oh, Tegan. Are you all right? I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andras, too. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I... Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. Clearly the child is an abomination. There is... Only one way to stop it. He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Trusted Loghain. Why wouldn't I? How could I have suspected the mage he sent would be a murderer? And Eamon knew nothing of your plans. Do you not realize what you've done, Isolde? Eamon would only demand we do the right thing. I was not going to lose my son. Not to... to magic. Make her help me, I know. I should be punished, not Connor. There must be something we can do. I think he ran upstairs, to the family quarters. Violence scares him. I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into coming out again, and so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... perhaps. Is there... is there no other way? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. No? What? What about the mage? He could know something of this demon. If he still lives, we could speak to him. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Is he dead? Can we do nothing else? Killing the child is the quickest course, but to say there is nothing else possible would be a lie. <coughs> we can confront the demon in the Fade, though not easily. What do you mean? The demon is within Connor, is it not? No, it lies in the Fade and controls the boy from there. We can follow that connection, however, and do battle with its true form. So you can enter the Fade? And kill the demon without hurting my boy? Possible to? Yes. Able to? Perhaps not. Entering the Fade requires Lyrium as well as numerous mages to perform the ritual. Neither of which we have. I understand. Can we do nothing else? Please. Don't. It isn't his fault. He just tried to help his father. Why must he pay with his life? Do not make this any harder than it is, Isolde. He has made his decision. Who says he gets to decide? I'm Connor's mother. I'm the Arlesa. This is what must be done. No! No! I won't let you do this. It isn't right. It isn't right! Go 
and do this quickly. We must save Eamon and restore the castle. I will make Isolde understand. Okay. We'll go around and loot real quick. It shall be done. It is begun. Okay. There, we got him. All right, cool. Oh, we needed. Injury kits. We'll take that. Hell yeah, we will. Very well. It shall be done. Okay. Let me see here. Okay, I need to figure out how to give those gifts because I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to fucking do it. As you say. It shall be done.
Yeah. Shall be done. As you say. Now let me check around because there may be hidden items here. Okay, nothing here. All right. Let them come over here. Guy. Combat training for you. There we go. Very well. It is begun. I shall do it. Is this the vault that we were looking for? I think so. Demon shield. That'll be for Alistair. It is begun. Okay, we'll change the scale gloves. Okay. Yoink. There. Okay, yeah, I think that was the vault we were looking for. Go away. She won't like you being here. She'll just try to hurt you. The scary lady who speaks to me in my dreams. She's quiet now. She's never very far. I tried to stop her, but I can't. She said she'd help father. I didn't think she'd hurt everyone. Honestly, I didn't. She said that was why you were here. I want to help father too. 
She knew I did. That's why she came to me. Is that why you're here? Are you going to kill me? She said you would. What's going to happen to me? When I'm dead? Oh. I heard the priest's songs about the Maker. But I don't know him at all. I wonder if he's nice. Is it... going to hurt much? At least no one will be hurt anymore. And maybe Father can be helped. That's all I wanted. Just... Just do it then. Ah, uh, I'll try. I don't know what to do, but I'll try. You'll never win! You'll never take him! He's mine! Got her. Sweet. I kept her distracted so Alistair could nail her from behind. Stop! Stop! Don't hurt him! Please, have mercy on him. He's just a boy. He doesn't deserve this. I... No, of course not. But this is my son's life. There must be another option. The Circle must know some spell, or we could bring him to the cathedral and dinner him. They, they could exorcise him. Make her help me. There must be some other way. Don't kill my baby. I'm begging you. Don't ask me to choose between them. I can't do that. What? What if he was your son? Surely you would move mountains to save him? You're just like Tigan. Standing there grim-faced and telling me my son has to die. It doesn't have to be like this. I order you to stop! No! Please! I- Bitch! Told you to get out of the way!
What have you done? What I had to. He was just a boy. He did. I tried so hard to save him. And what am I left with? Nothing. I wonder just how long Eamon will survive. Now that the demon cannot sustain him. Will I lose my whole family, do you think? Enough. I wish to mourn my son now. Give me that at least. So it is over. Connor is dead, and the demon gone with him. With its creatures vanquished, the castle is back under our control. I thought I'd never see my brother again. My son, your nephew, is dead. Do not forget that in your great relief, Tigan. How could I, my lady? Eamon has much to mourn if he recuperates. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Thank you. I am grateful for your eagerness to help restore my husband. Find the brother Genitivi, the scholar, in Denerham. He has been researching the urn's location for several years now. The knights that returned say they were unable to find Genitivi. Perhaps the Maker will lead you to him. I must go to the Hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and call it for this video. We got through Castle Redcliffe. That was actually kind of fun. So I hope you all had fun this episode. I did. I'm sorry I was so quiet. I had to concentrate on this because I didn't know what I was doing, so... Anyway, hope you all had fun. I'll see you all next episode.